done. I'm done. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I have just passed my D440 nutrition and wellness class at WGU. Um, I literally just took my OA, um, started around 8-ish, finished around 9.47. I scored a 9.52 on my OA. On my PAs, I scored in the 1200s and in the 1500s. So if that kind of gives you an idea of how it converts. So I want to share with you guys what I did to pass the course. So first thing I did was um, the very first day I went ahead and printed the course checklist. Um, so I put everything in this binder. It's kind of ripped up, but printed off the course checklist. And then for each chapter, I would just make myself um, like a to do list at the top of each chapter. And I would put lesson, the case, the case study, the number of lessons, the readings in the um, EAQ. Let me see if I can find a good example. Okay, so that's a good, so that's an example of like what I would do, and then I would um, read the pages. So, in more detail, so what I would do is, um, like I said, printed the course checklist. I printed all of the powerpoints, and I also printed the study guide. So what I did was I printed the PowerPoints, um, put them in a binder with dividers. And then as I was reading the pages in the, um, in the ebook, I would make notes, highlights, um, everything. Like this is a huge book of highlights. I'm trying to show you one where it's like decked out with stuff. Um, yeah. Anyways, so I did that. And then next thing I would do is I would go into Elsevier and I would first do the case studies because basically what you do with that is you read and then you show the answer. And then I would make notes about the answers that they put in, in my notes. Um, next thing I would do is I would go through each lesson and in each lesson, um, if there was something I was missing from my notes or from the reading i would make notes on my powerpoint and um, i would go through and do the quizzes and then i also went through and did um, the lesson assessment at the end of each chapter so i did that for all the lessons within the chapter once i did all the lessons then i did the eaqs and my professor said that for the eaqs you just want to go through it once and then once you've done all the chapters go back through and get proficient so like I said, I went through each chapter, did the case studies, the lessons, the readings, and the EAQs. Then once I did all of that, I went back through. It probably took me about two or three days. Um, one of those days I was working a 12-hour shift, so it was kind of like in between. But I went through each chapter and um, got proficient on each one. And in the master library, she, she tells you how you can... Um, figure out if you're proficient or not. So once I got proficient on all my EAQs, I'm trying to remember what's the next thing that I did. After I did that, I went back to the Facebook groups and I printed out the study guide, I think from Erica Lankin, um, Kahim, and I think her name is Veronica. Print out the study guide. Um, so that's this binder. It's more condensed. And studied the study guide. Made my own notes. Um, I also studied the Quizlets just to kind of make sure that I actually knew the information. Because I feel like sometimes when I'm just going through studying, um, it's kind of like, okay, I'm just going through the information. But to actually test myself, I did the Quizlets. I also attended several... Um, cohorts, even like when I didn't really know any information, I still attended the cohorts um, because sometimes my professor's name was Destiny. She would say things that would help me link the information together. Um, so, okay. So yeah, I printed out the study guides and um, what else did I do? I went through her master library in the course tips and I clicked on every single link that she had in there because she also um, 
like within the last few days updated her link so I guess she was getting feedback from the students about what was on the OA and so she updated her link so I listened to those made notes um I also did the practice OA problem I mean not the practice OA problems the practice I know problems and then um I sent a screenshot to her in my program mentor that I had gotten proficient in all the EAQs. And so she sent me back a list of things to make sure that I do. So she said, go back and do the pre-made EAQs that she made for the class in Elsevier. So I think there's like three of them. So I did all three of those. Um, I also listened to the NCLEX style um videos like i said she has a master list so go through every resource in that master list because there's videos in there about how to take the NCLEX next generation questions and um they talked about like how to listen for words or list well when you're reading look for keywords list uh look for if they're asking if a patient needs more understanding or if they do understand what um things to admit and just like what little phrases and then like what is priority or best. And um, they said in the video, like with these questions, it's like a best scenario. So if you currently work in like a hospital setting and sometimes when you're answering this question, like, well, we did it this way because we didn't have this or whatever. She's like, no, forget that. Just think as though this is the best possible situation. Um, so I think those videos really help. So I want you to imagine that master library. I don't know if all the professors have it, but I know with mine, like, like this course is a wash rag and you want to wring out every single resource that you can out of this course and out of the resources listed. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I did. Facebook groups were super helpful because that's where I got the study guides. If you're not a Facebook person, just get a Facebook just so you can do the Facebook groups because I feel like that helped a lot. And then a lot of the students went on there and gave their feedback about the about the test and uh, also gave their feedback about the PA. So you may have scored really high on the PAs, but then score really low on the OA. So that was good information to know or not to feel like, OK, well, if I scored 1200s and like me, I scored 1200 and 1500, but I scored um, in the 900s, which you only need an 850 to pass. But. I felt really good about that because it makes me feel, well, A, I passed, so whatever. But it makes me feel good that there's other people that have scored high on the PAs and they maybe got like high 800s on the OA. Um, what else? I'm trying to think that I do. Yeah, my main thing is print out those PowerPoints, attend the cohorts, um, get in the Facebook group so that way you can get the study guides. Use your master list. I want you to click on every single link that's in that master list so that way you can get the information that you need for your OA. Um, other than that, oh, in the Quizlet. Make sure you use the Quizlets. Other than that, just take really good notes and pray. That's honestly what I did. I prayed a lot. I prayed this morning. I prayed yesterday. Bible journaled my feelings, doubts, fears that I had just to get all those negative emotions out. Um... Also on my whiteboard before I even, well, after I was allowed to start my test, I wrote on my whiteboard, you can do this. And then I wrote my um, conversions because you're going to need your conversions for your I's and O's. Um, I'm trying to think. Make sure you know your diets. Make sure you know different foods. Like if it's vitamin C, everybody knows oranges. But like Destiny said, okay, once you know oranges, what else do you know? Like you need to add more foods into your repertoire of um, diets. So I think that's all I have. I'm so excited, you guys. I passed this class. Um, it took me eight weeks to do. Um, I started back in May. Today is July 8th. And um, that was the last class that I have for this term. I'm going to contact my program mentor to see if I can add on at least one more class that I have. Um, Eight more weeks to go so i'm gonna squeeze i'm gonna try and see what class i can squeeze in but i'm just so elated like so excited that i got this done this was giving me so much anxiety like even before even though i had prayed and everything oh and i even had my daughter pray over me and my husband prayed this morning too but my daughter prayed over me it was such a sweet prayer and i i didn't really understand everything that she was saying but it 
it really helped. And I also reached out to my family to pray over me and everything. So honestly, that's my number one thing that I used to help was pray and journal my feelings right to God and just take really, really good notes. I know it's in our inclination to want to get through this class fast, but like they even say in the welcome video, this may not be a class that you can get done in two weeks. Yeah, there were people that <laughs> were saying that they got done in two weeks or they got done in a day, but they had also um, taken a nutrition class or some people don't work. I need to work and I also um, have a family. So I took the a lot of time that God thought that I needed and I was able to pass and I just want to help others that are taking this class. Um, so hopefully this gives you more um, feedback about what WGU's D440 uh, Nutrition and Wellness course entails. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. If you're at WGU or if you're in college right now, you got this. Make sure you um, use all of your resources, pray, and um, just study. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.